Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host, Victorious. This is part 10 of 1736 live stream. By Sideways way. acting all tough, like like bucks, super high testosterone, rib chiseled. Well, you get these motherfuckers to be in a dress. Now that's power. Good, good for you, Jews. You know, I get it. I mean, they're so annoying. They're wild in the movie theater. They're shooting a gun sideways, drinking grape drink and the fucking, I mean, it's like, he's just sitting around going, you think what I'm thinking? Chris Rock, Martin Lord, and Tim Fox all in dresses. Yeah, I get it. I want to get these black motherfuckers in dresses too. That's what they get for being so loud in a movie theater, shooting a gun sideways, drinking that great drink. I, I would be a good undercover too, because this is how I'd, I'd get in with them, or grab her. I'd get in there and they'd be like, hey, what do you think you hit me? I'd be like, no, dude, I'm in. I'm like, man, that, that fucking dick looks so bad unless we give it a haircut. It's like, what do you mean? I'm like, yeah, look at that anteater dick. I say we bite the fucking tip right off it. And they're like, you, you serious? You understand? I'm like, I understand. Look at this fucking nigger out here. Let's get him in a dress. All right, there's a good possibility that this is not going to be one that I'm going to uh, actually do a full video on. Um, so let's just go ahead and skip around. Too much. Vulgarity and racism for me. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Awesome. And we're going to keep doing more and more additions. All right. Dear Owen, Cortisol Bear here. This letter is going to be about me, because I'm a special boy. First, I think I just assumed the name Cortisol Bear and don't know that I've been verified. Welcome, Cortisol Bear. So may I be verified as Cortisol Bear, yes. Through the niggle against mainstream nonsense. Hard to catch a live stream since a new time. Here's some shekels, nigga. Thank you, Eric Bear. Uh, I was there back in the LA, White Claw, Van Hammer, Fancy Pants, Arborist, Childless, Awakening. What I'm ashamed to say, I checked out for a couple years. Anyway, I missed out on getting in it Ursa Rio, and it chaps my ass. It should, because we're having more and more get togethers up there. We're going to do uh, solar power. We're running conduit. They're having more and more get togethers. What that means is he's, there's more and more opportunities for people to show up and uh, give free labor. Oh, how dare you? Okay, go fuck yourself. Uh, land scam? Because I'm only a couple hours away. The Ursa Ozarks is probably going to be further than I want to go. By the way, if you want to donate to that, uh, Ursa, no, BertardiaCampgrounds.com. Don't be gay. Um, I'll probably donate anyway when I get the shekels, but I was wondering if there's any way I can still get in to Ursa Rio. No. You can potentially come to, like, events or uh, help us build shit. We'll have our, we can figure that out. Uh, but we have a limit because uh, for zoning reasons. One reason I like writing letters, and we, we weren't as organized for Ursa Rio, so, uh, so it's like uh, we're just going to – we're following through on it. And we're going to make it happen, but – it was uh, the genesis of Ursa Rio, the creation of it. it, was very disorganized and very hectic because of uh, COVID and we didn't hit our goals and all that. But uh, No, no, that's that's a that's a lie. Whenever he said COVID, what he meant was during the uh, worldwide crisis, he had a sales pitch, an investment op- opportunity. And the reason why it was so disorganized is because he allowed it to be so disorganized so that he could take away – he could walk away with as much money as he possibly could – Without running absolutely everyone off. For those of you that were involved in it, we're going to make you proud. I was, I was chatting with Scrapwood Bear and hanging with the Bear straight after going stream. Come join us. It's not my Bear. Good, good call. But sometimes I miss the stream and I miss hearing my letter. Well, you can niggle it. I wrote one while back about the CIA and then couldn't find the stream. So I was wondering if you might niggle it for me by using my name and let me know what stream it was in. If my request make me too much of a special boy, I totally understand. Uh, love to you, Coruscant Bear. P.S. A few extra Jew notes included to pay for how gay this letter is. Uh, let me take a little niggle real quick. If I don't have it up, I'm just going to move on. Uh, do I have my niggle off? Hang on a second. Here's Nigel. Cortisol. Okay, cortisol. Cortisol. Okay, well, you've been. All right. Mulatto Lotto Entertain Sense is my Instagram account. Cortisol. You're going to have to niggle yourself, dude. We have 107 results. So when Nigel becomes available, you get yourself a niggle, and then you fucking figure it out like a big boy. Okay? So this guy, the guy, didn't send me a little letter. Let's see what my little Israel has to say. Read this page first, this guy, Tim. Old timey voice. Owen of House Bad is I, the one who makes nope. many O. Nope. Nope. I read a comment that uh, there's a rumor going around that Coddington is walking away, and that's one of the reasons for uh, Owen acting as hostile as he's been. But uh, I guess time will tell on that. Time for my 2019 tour. We thought that would be a. Gee, I wonder if we can niggle that in the future. Does anybody remember those uh, Instagram streams? If only someone had saved all of them. Okay? He would go, oh, Jim Bob, that's his voice. It's always the most self-hating that are the most crazy. He would go, he would do He would do an impression of his wife's mom that was like, oh, Jim Bob. And he said, quote, unquote, they own slaves in Singapore and they eat dogs. Okay? I have it all. We can niggle it all day long. Okay? I don't, I don't really care because I'm not a tit for tat guy. I literally don't, uh, don't care. But just to let you know, just for the future, really watch out for it. Chinky Bear, her name was fucking Chinky Bear. And she got uh, offended that we were making fun of Jim Bob's wife on topics that Jim Bob used to do, okay? Jim Bob made fun of my dead dog the day I accidentally ran over her with my car. If you want to be an edgelord, great. I laughed about it. But like, okay, your wife is a porn-addicted fucking Asian bitch whose parents own slaves and they eat dogs. Ah, dare you! Ah, Jesus! Okay. Maybe if you want to do the Christian grift, you don't have your gook wife bring her baby to an abortion rally, hashtag nasty baby, and publish it on the internet. Oh, I, have a, I have an image of you holding roller blades. I have an image of you and your buddy's wig, half naked, beating each other up. No shit. I put that on the internet. It's in a fucking documentary called The Comedy of Death. 
Okay. Jesus. I thought it was the death of com. Is it the comedy of death? I thought it was the death of comedy. These people are so fucking self-destructive. I, I used to think Jim Bob was like smart. It's they're so dumb. I, I just don't understand it. It's like you're the one who did those jokes. Why do you think I think your wife's family has slaves? Because you told me that. Oh, but Jesus, Trinity, follow. It's like, dude, you're a scam artist. Like you're a fucking scumbag. Okay. I always thought Jinky Bear's name was more self racing Yeah, they're the ones that get the most quote-unquote offended. It's crazy. Then bring any positivity or joy. Like, gook bear, kike bear, or nigger bear. Don't think we have any of those. We have white nigger bear. It's kind of funny. Didn't really feel like it holds the spirit of good, beautiful, or true. I could be wrong, but it could be something to watch out for in the future. Definitely. I'll go Hold out. The JB expose stream was seriously disturbing. Yeah, there's a good chance that Ford Face never saw that, you know? Lusky, I sent you a song called Walking the Dog to Why They Laugh, that local hero from the North Lady, to the tune of Walking the Dog. Why didn't they laugh email? It hasn't worked in months. I can't even check it. It ran out of uh, space and I'm just done with it. Rim job has deleted all his videos on YouTube, no content. Uh, I, I, I guarantee, I don't promise that. I will be surprised if his narrative is not that he did it because he's being attacked. Jim Bob is the predator. He is the infinite victim. Everything he does has to now be defined by the victim because every predator has to be a victim. Okay, so that's, I don't, I'm pretty sure, because this is a week, a week old, I think. And so what he's referring to is whenever he did a live stream and <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I didn't watch it all. I watched half of it, pause it because I was, uh, I felt like I was watching a snuff film. <laughs> he was just absolutely destroying this guy. And, uh, and so the bears mass reported it and his channel got taken away for two weeks. And unlike the perpetual victim, Owen, who uh, just um, manufactures his victimhood, the Bears did, in my opinion, report his channel. Because it, it was crucial, man. <laughs> he, he, he tore it apart piece by piece. And uh, yeah, he did a very good job. Very systematic it's the only way you justify your monstrous behavior. So if his entire business plan with him and his slopey ass wife is to attack me, attack the bears, try and create controversy, self-righteousness, only he knows God, blah, blah, blah. He has to be the victim. So if he deleted his content, I guarantee his narrative will be it's because he's being attacked by me when there is. And the reason why Owen knows this so well is because he has never been honestly kicked off of any platform in in any other way besides he himself broke TOS. That's the only way that he's ever been kicked off of any platform. It wasn't like he was, or it wasn't as if he was singled out at all, ever. And yet that's the narrative that he spins. And the reason why he did that was so that he could label himself the most banned comedian in the world. And he's so unfunny and so unsuccessful as a comedian that that itself didn't even work i swear to god i have never flagged any of his content swear to god you can try he, he can say that probably i bet that's I, i'm sure that that might be an honest statement because he has his lieutenants do his dirty work trust me or not but i swear to god i never have he's that weak gangster who uh gives his gun to his right hand man in order to end somebody's life he never pulls the trigger himself. He just gets other people to do it. Not once, not one single time. I've never sent an email. I've never, unlike him, who dug up our partner with who we work with for the app and all that. And you know, he's trying to get us kicked out of the app store and all that stuff. I've never done that to him. I've never mass flagged him. His partner. <laughs> that would be like a, a door dasher saying that they're, that they're in business with Chipotle and, and all the other places, which I mean, technically, but no. I've never, uh, which if you're a DoorDasher, you would have more of a right to say that you're in a partnership with those other places than he does saying that he's a partner with whatever that app is that he actually just threw a, a skin over sought out you know these like institutional ways of destroying someone's income and i know he has done that to me you know him trying to uh say i blackmail him him saying he's going to sue me all these things so he will lie and he will continue the charade that he's the perpetual victim you know what's going to happen as this happens his wife will get he did he did there's audio proof that's one of the reasons why Owen was so pissed off that uh, made by jim bob recorded that conversation is because it was undeniable proof of extortion and blackmail. More and more control and lose more and more respect for him. He will lose control and power in his life. He will become more filled with self-hatred and he will become addicted to something. No. Thing. 
uh, in order to deal with the repercussions from his horrendous behavior. He will become more and more self-righteous in his religion and dogma. And he will be he will continue to isolate himself. He will be less enjoyable to listen to. People will want to support him less. The reason why he knows this, he, he's the reason why he's speaking with so much authority right now, even though that it's not applicable to uh, made by Jim Bob, is because this is actually a blueprint of exactly what has happened to Owen Benjamin, except uh, the only in the only doctrine that he is a slave to is his own. That's what the whole niggle thing is. That's his own personal Bible. The words that matter, Owen Benjamin's words. That's what you'll find on that website. And as time has gone by, he's, I don't know if he is, but there's a rumor that he is addicted to uh, a number of things. And he is obviously uh, less pleasurable to listen to. He will self-sabotage to a degree, or in a few years, I would not be surprised if he is fucking homeless. I've seen it over and over again. There's no way out of that. If you are going to create this false narrative that you're actually the victim as you're attacking everybody, your life goes to shit. You're being used. That's a mirror of what he's going through, because he is. Owen Benjamin is the perpetual victim. He attacks you while crying that he's the one that's being attacked. He swore that his mission was to take you and the bears down. He hasn't let up. Yeah, and how's that working for him? We we created niggle. All right. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's the uh, that's the win. Bears aren't leave, leaving in mass. <laughs> his money's not drying up, but they also created niggle. He's like a tiny deaf weasel because he doesn't listen. Just like we, just weasels. Yeah. No, he created a jihad. His mission is to take down me and the bears. And the entire time, what he's doing is he's, he has many accounts on YouTube. Anytime a video of mine goes up, he just writes all this horrible shit. He trolls me whenever I do any YouTube thing. He tries and digs and tries to get me kicked out of app stores and kicks off the internet and tries to get me so I can't make a living. The whole time, like he would love it if I died. He would love it if something horrible happened to my family. No, no, I don't believe that to be true. I know I wouldn't. Honestly, don't know anybody that uh, would be happy if something horrible happened to Owen's family. Now, his money drying up per se. I think I think he's doing that himself, just by acting the way he is. I, I skipped half of this video because of 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 the content. I didn't want to listen to it. I wasn't gonna. Put it out there for somebody else to listen to. Would feel that that was justified because I attack his God. I attack his wife. He's a victim. It's it's obvious behavior. And I, this is not my first rodeo, guys. It's not my first rodeo. Okay, that victim narrative destroys him, not me. Now, he can be annoying. He can niggle me. He can niggle, niggle, niggle. But fortunately, the way the system operates is there are contracts and rules and terms and conditions. And you can stress test them and you can try and create narratives and all that stuff. But all it does is get rid of the weak links. All it does is make us more self-reliant. All it does is reinforce our own mission statements. Rimjob won't be on YouTube very long. What are their mission statements? What are, What is the Bear Terrier or Bear, whatever, Bear Taria, the, the uh, Owen Benjamin mission statement? What is that? It's his own fault. He deleted his own content. When you're dealing with a liar like him, I would not be surprised if he didn't even get suspended. You don't know because he doesn't. He only lies. <laughs> his constant trolling comments on Chrissy Morrow's show was so pathetic. Guys, he lives in a little apartment. He had two questions that the uh, audience was so um, blessed to have to have experienced because after the second one, <laughs> the fact that anybody could watch the Chrissy Mayer and Owen Benjamin episode and come, come away thinking that uh, Owen is anything other than what he really is, which is a weak, pathetic coward and not talented at all. He asked two questions and this was after Owen made the comment. Oh yeah. Yeah. As long as you make money off the trolls, go for it. He answered the first question by made by Jim Bob. In a very decent manner, I, I, in my opinion. I was I was actually impressed. But then again, my standards are very low for Owen. And then whenever it got real, 
and there was information that most of the people didn't know about is whenever you said, okay, now, oh, no, no, he's actually a troll. I don't want any more from him, which that shows you that he's a coward. Made by Jim Bob, does an hour of original content, and then he has another hour of people being allowed to call in. Two different caliber of people right there. And with three kids and an over-demanding wife. And I'm not mocking poor people because I get it. I lived in a barn for two years. I, oh, you're just a thief. $400 scam. No, no. I provide tremendous value to my audience. Okay? Imagine no. taking his small amount of income that he has. Small. Tiny. Well, okay. I'll give him that a little bit because th he does give, I think, in my opinion, valuable content. And not in what he says, though. It's, it's content in a way that it's a looking glass into the psychosis of a human being. Psychology of a cult leader. Somebody that is, is that lacks the ability of self-accountability. Lacks the ability of self-accountability. And I, I do think that that's valuable. And spending it on trolling me. Imagine being his wife and watching that and being like, well, knowing her, she's probably like, yeah, go get him, Jim Bob. Go get him, Jim Bob. But that's horribly self-destructive. Where you have like a not a lot of income, like you're living in an apartment with three children. Okay, an apartment. Not trying to be a dick. Like I understand everybody's on a different Oh, you sound like such a self -right. No, no, no. If you're in an apartment, fine. But if you have money, invest it, reinvest it into your business, save it. If you have money, why would you? That literally is reinvesting in his business. That was money well spent, in my opinion. Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. Less than 50 bucks and derailed an entire interview without being rude, crude, or socially unacceptable? Bravo. Use it to troll someone on YouTube. Like, just for negativity. That's crazy. That's also a matter of opinion. I thought it was a very positive thing. I don't think there was anything negative about it, per se. It's like chastising your child. It's not a pleasurable experience, but it is good. Like, sometimes I want to just, like, give them advice and yell at them. Like, what are you doing? You have children. Like, you've broken your own audience. Like, let's see how many subscribers Jortopia has. Like, let's look it up. Let's look it up. Let's see how many Jortopia. Is this Jortopia, cha Jortopia channel? Is this it? I don't even know how to. He's acting as though he doesn't know. That's bizarre. Terrible acting. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. And neither does Hollywood. Find this fucking thing. Tortopia Eclipse. <laughs> he's such a pathetic dude. Yeah, go to his actual channel that he that he's... Oh, I guess in this moment he can't. Because they mass flagged it. I don't see it. Codsworth, can you tell me how many subscribers he has... Um, I bet it's very, very small. I think he was 13,000 before this. Nobody started a new channel. So that'll kind of cue you in on how many people are actually supporting him. Connington, he's probably has already deleted it. Whatever the one that, uh, that, uh, Ford face was promoting. Um, and to be honest with you, this is how much they, this is how, uh, how closely they're watching made by Jim Bob is that I just learned about this, uh, Jortopia channel last night yesterday late last night and this was a week ago uh he provides a great example of what not to do talk about a stocky ex-girlfriend stocky ex-boyfriend i know there's feminine energy and there's masculine energy <clears throat> but i'm i whether i'm right or wrong i don't i don't feel the need to just whenever somebody's acting weak and pathetic because I've met many men and we're watching one that is absolutely weak and pathetic and, and uh, stalky. And yeah. And it's like, and he's always trying to get everything I do destroyed, but that's okay. The, the, the coyote prowling the fence line, I think it's Jortlandia. Okay. Jort, he's defined by my nickname of him. Jortlandia clips. Here we go. 442 subscribers. Okay. So me and Forkface may have a problem here coming up because his only clip is songs from the Lard King. The Lard
Bernard King serenades his audience via live stream. Features an original animation improv from Made by Jim Bob. This clip from Made by Jim Bob, 717 live stream. Songs from the Lard King. Okay, so including all of his sock accounts and including him pressuring everybody, he has less than 500 subscribers. He can't even... <laughs> Go to the date of the, crea- the, the date of the creation of that channel. This is so stupid. Anyways... <laughs> This is the Texas Goat Radio Show, and I'm your host, Matorius. As always, till next time.